Good morning, I'm Dr. Ferrari. I'm a medical biochemist, a nutritionist, aesthetician, a medical doctor with a strong background in medical aesthetics. Um, today I will be talking about the HIFU, uh, the new skin rejuvenation procedure. Uh, HIFU stands for High Intensity Focused Ultrasound. Uh, it makes use of ultrasound in order to cause uh, thermocoagulation points inside the skin. We can work at different levels from 1.5 millimeters going deeper, deeper based on the thickness of the skin and on the result we would like to achieve. The functions of the machine are white from skin rejuvenation, skin tightening, fat reduction, and hyperhidrosis. What made me choose this technology is the fact that first of all it uh, utilizes a centerless ultrasound transducer. This makes the treatment more comfortable and more accurate so the patient can utilize high energy levels for better results. Uh, there is also a constant water flow in the machine which prevents overheating of the ultrasound so that the, we offer a uniform treatment uh, and safe throughout. Uh, we're here today with Mrs. Rosalba, a 61-year-old lady. We're going to be examining a little bit her skin, and we're going to follow a treatment uh, with the high food. So Mrs. Rosalba has uh, a little bit of skin laxity, as you can see on the skin. We have prominent marionette and nasolabia lines, and also the gels area. You can see that uh, has a bit of laxity. Um, we're also going to be working uh, on the crow's feet around the eye. So before we start the treatment, we first have to measure the thickness of the skin in the different areas that we're interested to treat. So we start from the side, measuring with a plicometer, and we indicate on the patient's cart the different levels. After we finish with the plicometer measuring the thickness of the skin, we now know the different uh, transducers that we want to use at the different levels. Um, having a thickness of around uh, eight to nine, uh, then we can safely use the 4.5 millimeter transducer to go and treat the SMAS layer. Before we do this, we are going to inject the different zones that we're going to be treating with saline solution. Um, we do these in order to increase the, um, the water that we have on the skin because uh, high foo is an ultrasound and ultrasound travels well through water. Uh, it doesn't travel through air, so in order for us to ensure a good and efficient treatment, we would like to inject the different zones with saline solution. So we can apply an anesthetic cream or we can apply some ice um, if we want to do the injections. Uh, we can do the high food treatment with or without injections. By doing the injections, we can use some saline solution so uh, as it acts uh, the, as a medium for the ultrasound to be um, to work better, more effectively. If we find a skin that is very hydrated, then we don't have to use the saline solution. However, after the ages of 60, um, it would be more advisable as we would have a skin that it's more dehydrated. So we first apply the ice onto the skin, then once the skin is a little bit cold, we start with our injections. We clean the area. We apply the saline solution in the area that we're going to treat. 
Then we stop, we treat, and we move on to the next. So we inject now 1.5 ml. And now we're ready to start the procedure. So we separate the areas that we're going to treat. Now we're going to work in the mid-lower face. Um, we apply a lot of gel in the area. Because as we said, HIFU is an ultrasound. It only travels through water. So we use a colorless gel just to act as the medium between uh, the face, the skin, and the transducer. Okay. So we go, we choose the face. Our transducer is the 4.5 millimeter. We choose um, to stay there for 100 milliseconds. Our lines are set to three, 30 millimeters. And the distance between um, each thermal coagulation point is at two millimeters. We start with an energy of 1.2 joules, and we increase based on the comfort of our patient. We have zero lines to start with. We're going to start our treatment, and this will count the lines for us. So we try to move very slowly, about one millimeter every time, so as to cover the whole skin. So in this area, we have chosen the 4.5 millimeter transducer, which is the transducer that works on the SMAS layer. By traumatizing the SMAS, we have a very good effect, a very good lifting effect on the mid-lower face. Then when we're going to move to the different areas of the face, depending on what we would like to achieve, if we would like more of a lifting effect more of a collagen production, then we choose different depths. So now, just by looking at the skin, we can see the different zones that we have treated. We can see that the skin is more plumped up and that we do have some kind of trauma deep inside the skin. But the result is already visible. Um, patients may say initially that they don't see the result that they were wishing for. However, uh, we have to explain that for neocollagenesis to occur, so for collagen production, some days um, are needed. So the results are not immediate. However, now by just looking at the skin, we can see already that there is a nice trauma inside the skin, which is going to help us to start lifting the skin and also producing a uh, new collagen and elastin. So now we're going to work in a different area. We're going to work around the lip and we're going to work also around the eye and cross feet area. So we have changed our transducer to 1.5. So by doing this method, it's one of the only treatments that can actually work at the top part of the eyelid and the lower part. So after the treatment of our HIFO, we can see here on the different zones that we have treated. Uh, the mid-lower face, uh, we have also injected the saline solution and you can see the results straight away. This is the side that we have treated first. So we can see that the erythema has already started going down. Um, but we can obviously see a slight lift of the whole face, more opening of the eyes. Uh, we have also treated the neck. There is a little bit of redness on this side, which is the side that we have treated last, but this should go away in the next half an hour. So after this treatment, uh, our patients can actually return to work and to their normal activities. There is no downtime. Um, we can even ask our patient whether this treatment was comfortable. Era comodo il trattamento? 
so the treatment was comfortable. By using a little bit of ice packs before doing the injections of the saline solution, the treatment becomes even more comfortable, so they can actually have better results. Thank you.